a new research facility to study military needs amid rising global temperatures. The Heat Resilience and Performance Centre in Singapore will collate data to help identify soldiers at risk of heat injuries. It will also develop the latest technology to keep them cool. Lauren Ong with more. The scorching sun, a constant bane to soldiers in training. But there were no heat stroke deaths in recent years. The Defence Ministry is ramping up efforts to keep it that way. The new Heat Resilience and Performance Centre is exploring ways to help the military adapt to the changing climate. Wearable health technologies have been advancing over the past decade, but they're often bulky and uncomfortable to wear over long periods of time. And so one of the ideas is to make these sensors softer and smaller and interwoven into these uniforms is so that soldiers can be monitored without them feeling a thing. In the works too are cooling wearables and smart fabrics. The centre will also look at how gut bacteria can affect heat tolerance. The fact that we haven't had a fatality gives us some comfort that if we pay enough attention, you can get results. But the problem is this, the challenge is this. For us situated at the equator, this challenge will be even harder in the future. At the centre's launch, Dr Ng says the weather will only get warmer if climate change continues unabated. And the Singapore Armed Forces need to adapt and deal with this challenge. And as soldiers are exposed to more vis vigorous physical activity, particularly during BMT, attention is paid to adequate rest cycles and to watch for early signs of heat stress. We don't want to dumb down training because that negates the whole purpose of national service in building a strong defence. But Training must be safe. So we have a the centre's director says studying heat stress can improve how humans adapt to the environment. In addition to heat injuries and performance degradation, extreme heat stress can also compromise decision making, leading to potential accidents. Less known to many, if we know how to use heat stress creatively and correctly, heat can be an enabler to augment physiological adaptations. Mr Lee says these innovations could possibly apply to the wider public too, like at-risk individuals and seniors. No